Hey guys, I'm back again. Uh, I've actually been able to do quite a bit of shooting lately. I was actually out twice last weekend. And both times my wife came with me. First time shooting the AR. She's not really a big gun nut like me, or really at all. She doesn't really like guns, but... uh I had her shooting the uh, 22 long rifle up over here. I guess this is going to be a double update video on both my uppers, really. She was shooting this tw dedicated 22 long rifle upper. Got some uh, UTG fixed backup sights for uh, I was really surprised for as cheap as they are how uh, how well they're made um, not sure what the deal is with that usually this UT UTG stuff from my experience is garbage but uh, although <laughs> that's really funny I just now realized that the handguard is a UTG, and uh, both the sights are UTG. Ha, wow, I'm pretty slow. But, uh, yeah, I got them zeroed in at 25 yards in the 22, and I mean, work nice. I got no complaints. This, the rear sight is a A2 that's cut. It's, they call it a match um, rear sight. It's got windage and elevation adjustment right there. Um, yeah, uh, not sure what's going on with uh, the 22 upper, but having a lot of jams. I think I've got to polish some stuff up and maybe lube some things a little better. I don't know. Got to get that figured out. So yeah, that's what's new with the 22 long rifle upper. Just uh, new sights. I got rid of that optic on there. It just wasn't working. The rings I had were too low, and it just wasn't working for me at all. Anyway, my eyes are good enough to see 25 and 50 yards with these sights, so I'll take it for now. When I get some money, maybe I'll upgrade a little later. But, uh, notice anything missing there? Yep. I chopped it. I gotta say, it turned out pretty nice. I uh, cut it off with my, uh, my Dremel tool. And then got some of that Birchwood KC Cold Blue. I think I did a pretty good job of cleaning it up. And Let me see if I can get a better angle here, maybe. Yeah, I mean, it's not the best job. I'm sure there's better out there, but uh, I'm very pleased with how it turned out. Actually, it wasn't that hard to do. All I did was uh, I left the gas block on the rifle. A lot of people say that you should remove them, but if you're careful, it's not really necessary. Um, I did have to take off this Danley Defense, the front sight post rail. This is the Omega X. Uh, basically, there's four tiny little set screws. Uh, of course, you can't see that. But, uh, yeah, there's four set screws. You loosen those up, and the guy I bought this from, he mangled the screws. Um, yeah, you uh, loosen the four little hex thing. Hex, blah, 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 blah. Can't talk. Anyways, you four, those little hex screws, you loosen those, and then you take the six screws out of the side. It's a two-piece rail. Comes apart. 
and boom, rails off. Then I just went to work chopping it and uh, contouring it to look decent so it would fit inside the rail. So yeah, that's what that looks like without the front sight post. To bridge the gap, I got a Knight's Armament 6 inch rail section. Let's see if I can do this one handed. And it just basically slides right over. And I've got this short section of rail here. Yep. There's that. I mean, unless you look real close, you wouldn't know that this is a front sight post rail. So, of course, I need a front sight. So, what did I do? I brought, I bought a Magpul back M bus front sight. Now, you guys are going to say, it's backwards, it's backwards. Yeah, I know, I know. But, uh, the way I grip this rifle and how I have the stock adjusted, my, let me see if I can do this. This is kind of close to how I hold it. I hold it pretty much right on the edge of that rail. And when I come down with my thumb, if this was the right way, I would be doing this every time I grip the rifle. Because that this, the release, would normally be right here. So, what the heck? I, uh, just reverse it when I grip it, no problems. I did take off the Magpul AFG. Um, I just decided to run it like this, so I'll see how I liked it. Um, yeah, I have, uh, I've shot it once so far, not real long, and it seemed pretty comfy even without the AFG, so maybe I might be getting rid of that, don't know. But uh, yeah, I I think it turned out pretty well, and I only paid $150 for this Daniel Defense rail, so I really didn't want to sell it to have to buy another rail for like $300 just because it didn't have that little cutout. So what the heck? Spent eight bucks on that Knight's rail cover, and you'll never know. And 20 rounds rapid fire. It didn't heat up, and I've these Knights rails are supposed to be really tough, and they won't melt unless you get like full auto for like a thousand rounds or something ridiculous. It's a little exaggeration, but you get the point. Um, so yeah, that's a little update. Sight changes on the rifles. Chop the front sight. Back rear sight there front sight there oh I did I did lower the uh, the spark to an absolute co-witness just to get a little bit lower down so I can get a little better cheek weld um, I think that's it um, yeah if you guys are contemplating this front sight chop I highly recommend it it's really not that hard if you got a Dremel and some cutoff wheels you can handle it uh, I mean how good it turns out is really up to you I've seen guys just chop it off and leave it so it fits they didn't contour it at all they didn't refinish it other than spray paint but I like the cold blue it looks like it I like it came like that almost it's kind of hard to see with this crappy light situation I have at my place, but whatever. Yeah, let me know what you guys think. Um, any questions, let me know. I'll be happy to answer them. Um, oh, I did. I got that, uh, the BCM. This is the Mod 1, I believe. It has a different grip angle. Big fan of that. Um, yeah, I'm rambling now. Anyways, peace out.